I'm Pam Seidel. Good evening on Rexdale Boulevard. A 58-year-old man is dead after a shocking crime that has rocked Toronto's Muslim community. A longtime member of this Rexdale Mosque and also a volunteer caregiver here, Mohammed Zafis, was sitting in a chair right outside the doors here when his throat was slit, killing him almost instantly and devastating his friends and family. I've known my uncle for many years. <laughs> Never said nothing wrong to no one. So I know last night when I heard that, I know he didn't do anything. So he didn't deserve this way to die. Earlier today, some of Mohammed's friends gathered outside the mosque and comforted each other as they wept. They tell me Mohammed Zafis was beloved by all and didn't have an enemy in the world. Members of the International Muslims Organization of Toronto even held prayers outside the closed mosque led by Imam Ayman Tahir. Everybody loved him. We're all in shock. We're all grieved. We're all sad. Everybody is, is traumatized literally for his death. It happened just before nine last night, just as sunset prayers were about to get underway. Imam Tahir said he'd been speaking with Mohammed five minutes before he was stabbed viciously in the neck. He says the whole thing happened in an instant. He was sitting by the door outside, and then all of a sudden we heard, uh, you know, that he's on the floor, and we went outside to to see what we can do for him. And you know, I was talking to him just five minutes before he got killed, oh my gosh. and. Um, yeah, it's just we're all in shock. The Toronto Police Homicide Unit has taken over the investigation and at this time cannot speak to a motive. They will only say that a man was seen running away on foot. There are several security cameras installed outside the mosque and elsewhere in the area. That footage has been handed over to police who have released this image and video of a suspect. The IMO did issue a statement after the tragedy, cautioning people against jumping to conclusions. This after there was speculation online as to whether this could be a hate crime. There are no words for what happened to the member of this congregation. We are deeply saddened and shocked. At this point, we want to let the community know that law enforcement is investigating. We further encourage our community not to speculate on what happened as the investigation is ongoing. Instead, we ask that you keep our brother and his family in your prayers. We're just waiting for things to settle down and uh, for the investigation to, uh, to come out. <laughs> I don't know why, why this had to happen this way. <laughs> I beg for, for whatever and whoever did this. I must asking for justice for him. Now, the people who were here last night say it's very unusual that there were no witnesses to this crime, that Mohammed was alone out here at the time of the incident. And as you can see from that security camera footage, it's quite grainy. So uh, investigators are hoping for help from the public so that if anybody has either dash cam video or cell phone video, that they will forward it to investigators.